Oink, oink, oink. I got a neighbor over there using the leaf blower. I can just barely see him through the through the bushes there, but he's definitely blowing some leaves. Anyway, today we're gonna make another one of those how I got that Instagram shot videos. I've already kind of picked out that I'm gonna use this background and I'm gonna go with a white, white bowl and I'm gonna put something in these bowls. This is gonna be a yellow split pea stew, if you will. Um, so, it's kind of gonna be, you know, like an Ethiopian-like inspired stew, but not truly Ethiopian. So I've got some uh, yellow split peas. This is not chana dal. Boy, I'm gonna be just butchering these words here. Cause I always thought that dal and split peas were the same, but evidently dal is split um, chickpeas, not split split peas, so these are actually yellow split peas. So anyway, it's like a perfect protein. So yay, I'm gonna, gonna make a, I'm gonna make a dish anyway. We're gonna make a dish with onions and carrots and bell pepper and garlic and split peas and some, uh, oh boy, come on, help me out here. Burberry, Berber, Berberry, Berberry. Anyway, this spice seasoning mix, which is just lovely. So we're gonna make the dish and then we're gonna plate it up and try to make it look pretty. I'm also making an Americanized injera, which is a flatbread um, to go with this and hopefully that'll look good in the shots. And then, oh my God, I just can't resist. Look at how pretty these shiitake mushrooms are. My local grocery store has been stepping it up big time. I got these, I got some oyster mushrooms, I got king oysters, uh, you, I, I can get those little tiny and yolky ones. I, oh my goodness, I just can't believe how lucky I am in this stupid little town that I live in that I can get mushrooms like this. So anyway, I cannot pass up putting some of these on top of this stew as a garnish. So I'm gonna be cutting up a few of these just for a garnish. So anyway, I'm gonna get started making the dish and then we're gonna make a picture. So, hope you enjoy. boiling. I'm going to lower the heat. I'm just going to cover it. I'm going to let that simmer for about uh, 45 minutes until those uh, split peas are soft. And then check out, check out the garnish. Move my camera. Move my camera. Check it out. These are going to be beautiful. Oh my god. If I don't eat them all first, aren't they beautiful? Those shiitake mushrooms are just beautiful. Anyway, that's going to be a garnish with some probably some parsley. Something green. You got to have green. Green makes everything perfect, and I gotta still make that injera. So, I'm gonna let this cook first. So this is looking really good. I added a cup and a half of corn to that. I'm just gonna let that simmer for a couple of minutes. That was frozen corn. That's not the right, that's not the right lid. Use the rat lid. I am going to blend a little bit. So this is just like a handful of power greens. It was a mix called power greens. P-O-W-E-R, power greens. Now we're gonna put it in the bowl. All right, so. I know I like to sprinkle stuff, so I think I'm just gonna sprinkle some of these yellow split peas around. And maybe you guys can answer me this. When you think about peas, right? If somebody says, eat your peas. You know, like if a little kid doesn't wanna eat his peas and you, the father's yelling at him to eat his peas. You're thinking about green peas, right? When I think of peas, I think about green peas. Well, so these are yellow dried split peas, and then you've got dried green split peas. But I don't know if I've ever seen yellow peas. 
Wh where's the yellow peas? H how come we always had green peas? I, I don't understand. Can somebody help me out with that? Anybody know anything about yellow peas? I'd like to know. I think I've oversprinkled. I need to unsprinkle some. Okay, so I'm going with the rolled. I'm going with the rolled. But now I'm just trying to figure out how to make them look, get them in the shot and not make them look stupid. Cause we don't want it to look stupid. So I'm trying to see how this is gonna look. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't know. I don't know how to get it in the shot. I don't know what to do. I don't like this configuration. Let's try maybe, maybe not so many. Maybe let's just pick, let's just pick a few. Let's, come on, come on babies, let's go. You're, you're out of the shot, you didn't make the cut. All right, so maybe let's do a stack. Let's do a little stackaroo like this. Maybe that will look good. So now I gotta take the phone, cause I'm gonna be up here. And no, I'm just not. It's not. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling it, people. I'm not feeling it. Oh, this looks just beautiful. It's just beautiful, though. It's beautiful. Maybe you can get up like, like so. Maybe like so. Scatter some of this parsley around. I'm glad I needed parsley today. My whole plant was out there just dying. Like, dude, you gonna pick me before winter really, really, really gets here? So I snatched a whole bunch of rosemary and thyme and parsley. And um, it'll last really long in the fridge. So like the thyme and the uh, rosemary might even last until next season. All right, got me some corn. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I want to put it really close to the mushrooms or just kind of stripe it right here. Up on the chair. Oh, I think I need a spoon too. Okay, I need a spoon, but I don't know where to put it. In the soup. What do I do with the spoon? Should I use a different kind of spoon? It's such a pretty spoon. Isn't it a pretty spoon? The spoon does not balance on this bowl very good. I got the spoon. I think that's where I'm going with the spoon, like that. Although I don't know if you'll be able to see it's a spoon. I guess. What else would you have in there, right? Not like a stick or anything. Of course it's a spoon. Let's try breaking stuff. Let's try breaking stuff. Let's try holding it up here. I'm now standing on a chair, holding a light, seeing what the shadow looks like now. Okay, I think I got the shot. I think I'm going to blur, I'm gonna blur this stuff out and that maybe will soften that shadow anyway. It's just the lighting outside sucks today. So I'm having to use artificial lighting and I don't have enough of these hoodie things to cover it, but I'm gonna make one of these work, I think. I think I'm gonna take another shot. Not quite happy with the parsley positioning. I am now balancing. I'm now balancing another light, my light on top of my very dusty candelabra. Is that the right word? Can is it that even a candelabra? It's not a candelabra. Who am I, Liberace? I'm not Liberace, it's not a candelabra. It's just a light, a light over the table. Whatever, a chandelier, but it's not really a chandelier, not like a crystal chandelier. All right, kids, I think I got the shot. I'll show you the shot in a moment. Gonna disassemble 
all my lights and stuff. And then I'm gonna eat. And then I'll show you the shop. <laughs>